Real YouTube. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, real YouTube is fight against Watson if you think he is easy or out of your mind. Uh, okay. Skills of mind, playing Pokemon, yes. Writing, no. Um, anyway, hello everybody. Thank you for uh, watching today's video. I want to do a quick intro for anyone unfamiliar. Today we're playing Emerald Kaizo. It is a ROM hack of Pokemon Emerald. We're also playing it as a Nuzlocke, which means a couple special rules. You only get one encounter per differently named area. If any of your Pokemon faint at any time, they are gone forever. You can no longer use them. If you ever lose all six of your Pokemon, even if um, you know you have more in the box, that is considered a wipe and, and you're no longer allowed to continue. You have to restart. Um, and yeah, Emerald Kaizo is extremely difficult. There are many, many, many different Pokemon. Pokemon have improved move sets. The AI uh, trainers all have like pretty good coverage moves on their Pokemon. So needless to say, it's very difficult. We've done a couple of these on the channel, so I don't want to spend too long on it. But yeah, this game is so difficult. It has only been, I think successfully proven to be Nuzlocke one time at the time that I'm recording this. I think other people may have done it as well, but I'm not sure if it was, like, uh, all streamed or whatever. But anyway, it's a lot of fun. It's very challenging. I'm really enjoying this kind of new aspect of Pokemon. And, yeah, so that today we are, we're uh, you know, showcasing another uh, part of the streams. We've been streaming this pretty regularly, I think, like, between two and four, maybe even five times a week over on twitch.tv slash wolfyvgc. I do stream... Um, nearly every weekday from around 1 p.m. or 2 p.m. Eastern to 5, 6, 7 p.m. Eastern, depending on the day. So also, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. Or if you think you're subscribed, you can also check. Uh, I get a lot of people commenting saying they thought they were subscribed or and they're not, or, you know, they were unsubscribed without them realizing it. So feel free to check if you, if you, you know, you're not certain. Um, it doesn't hurt. And if you want to subscribe and you haven't already, um, it would help me out a lot. I'm trying to grow this channel to a million subscribers. It would be I think a really big milestone for competitive Pokemon and all, for me as well, but also for Pokemon to have someone who's like primary focus is competitive content, um, reach that kind of milestone. So yeah, if you want to support me and, and you know, you want to, or, or you want to support, you know, someone who's creating primarily competitive Pokemon content, um, it would help out a lot. So thank you uh, for listening and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I have to ice you in. Okay. Alright. Let's go. Yay! One death brawling. And it was because they double rolling kick flinched me. Alrighty, that feels good. I feel like I played really well there. Also, Pidgeotto's apparently just a beast. That's what I learned from that. Okay, cool. We made it to Slateport. Not bad at all. Alright, here we go. Cherry Berry, Oran Berry, Miracle Seed, Oran Berry, Oran Berry, Cherry Berry. Cool. Okay, should be good. And actually, let's just be super careful here and just make sure that my Gloom is faster. My Gloom is 29 stat. These Shelter are 23 stat. Let's go for a Magical Leaf. Get the kill here. I didn't realize Gloom had a stronger move than Mega Drive. I thought Magical Leaf was super weak for some reason. Next, they go into Lombre. This is fine. It probably is Fake Out, if I had to guess. Let's take a look at their moves again. Uh, Lombre, it's Leech Seed Synthesis. It's always going to go for Ice Beam here. So as long as it doesn't get the Focus Band activation, it's fine. It does not get the Focus Band activation, so it's a free kill. Okay, Vigoroth comes in. Okay, now I go into Kabuto for this because it goes for Aerial Ace because it seems super effective. Slap off. Okay, that also works. It's actually better for me. Uh, let's look at Vigoroth here. How fast is it? Uh, it is 46 stat and my Kabuto is 34 stat. So if I drop it, I will actually Rock Slide into Rock Tomb should kill and it will also make it swim faster. They go for Slack Off again for whatever reason. I go for Rock Tomb, lower the speed. Okay, and now with that damage, it did Rock Slide is 20 base power high, uh, stronger, so this should kill and I'm faster. Bye bye! I kill, not bad. They go into Grimer. Okay, I wanted this anyway. I should be faster than this. Brick Break, Shadow Sneak, Self Destruct. It's 19 stat. Um, I'm gonna go for Rock Slide. I can flinch. And if I flinch, then they don't get to attack me. They're probably gonna go for Brick Break here. They don't. Oh, they go for Self Destruct. Okay. I don't need Kabuto for anything after this. They crit me, okay. Well, I definitely don't need Kabuto for anything after this because it's kind of done its job, I think. Croconaut comes in, and now I think I can just... Let me check the moves on this thing. It's going to say a kill, right? It's going to go for Brick Brick here, so I'm going to go back into Gloom. 31 speed stat, excuse me, should go for Brick Brick here. Okay, it should do, like, very little damage. Six damage, not bad. I'm a little worried about Body Slam, so i got to watch out for that. Magical Leaf will one-shot this Croconaut. How about Mega Drain? It will not. Unfortunate. So I think the play here is Magical Leaf for the kill, and then their last one is Star You. Go for Body Slam? Oh god, please don't do too much. Okay, they don't get parried. Last one, Star You, Thunder Wave, Shockwave, Water Pulse, Tri Attack. It's gonna for Tri Attack. I just have to pray that it doesn't freeze or burn me. Star You, it doesn't have any psychic moves. It has King's Rock, so I could flinch, I guess, to death. Go Mega Drain here. Goes for T Wave. Hey! 
I thought I never chi waved if it was faster. Good thing I gave a cherry berry. Oh, this actually might not kill. I don't understand. Okay, I heal back to there's still para. Wait, really? Oh, it always chi moves if it's slower, it often chi moves it faster and has no moves that kill. Okay. Okay, let's try this. Okay, now it's time for my favorite game. Okay, now I click toxic forever. Uh, okay. Oh, I meant to give uh oh. I meant to give my hunt till Chesterberry in case of Sing. Okay, it dies. Okay, I really meant to give this thing Chesterberry. Ice Punch is fine. I think Crunch should definitely kill. It's super effective. And Spoochum sucks. Okay, and they should always Thunder Wave here, I think. But I really don't want Huntel. I need Huntel not to kill here, is the thing. Okay, that's good. That's really good. Okay, cool. They should Thunder Wave here. Did it see the kill? Did I see the kill? Oh no. No. Okay, then I don't know how Gen 3 Battle AI works anymore. I'm just saying it. I don't know how it works anymore. What? I don't understand. We're not speed tying, are we? Okay, nobody knows how Gen 3 Battle AI works. I'm gonna let Fury get paralyzed and try one with Bloom. Why does this thing? Okay, I don't understand why this thing never Thunder Waves. There we go, jeez, okay. Headbutt, okay, now I can Mega Drain? It's faster than me! Oh, I did all that to avoid that. Uh oh. Okay, that's pretty bad. I think I lose. <laughs> I actually think I lose. This is the second trainer, right? Okay, I'm now in range of self-destruct, so I think my only play is to switch to Chimeco and pray that I don't get hit here. I did all that to avoid a paralysis, and then I just end up with all my Pokemon getting paralyzed instead. Rain Dance, okay. I really need to not die here. Please two shot. Nice. Water Pulse, okay, please don't get confused. Please don't get confused. Oh god, I can do this if I don't get confused. Critical hit. No, no confusion, okay, cool. Okay, cool. Um, I'm kind of worried about Dratini now, but like, whatever. Dracini has Thunder Wave and Dragon Range, and it's lax nature, and it has no item. It's 28 speed stat, so I can probably two-shot this thing, and it can't one-shot me anyway, and then I can always just recover forever if I wanted. So let's click Psybeam here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why was I worried? <laughs> oh, that was so stressful for no reason. I don't understand Gen 3 Battle AI. I don't understand why that Chincho never Thunder Waved me. Let's take a look at what May has. She has six Pokemon. My Manoon, Pidgeotto, Nidorina, Bayleaf, War Turtle, and Combustion. So, I have a ground type. She's a female Manoon. What nature is my stand slash? I think it's female. It is female. Okay, so I think that this can do very, very well into the Manoon, right? I'm pretty sure. So I think that this thing should definitely come. Let's put it up here. Um, for the Nidorina, I think I want Chimeco. Let's bring this here. I can switch into it relatively easily, I think. And I can always use... I might want to think about pivoting there. Bayleaf, War Turtle, and Combustion. So I'm supposed to use Combust... Uh, I'm supposed to use... How fast is Nidorina? I'm 41 stat, which is one slower than May. But I'm 26, and, and Peach also I can be 27 for this. Uh, I do kill with that soft sand. Okay, cool. So Sand Slash definitely has to come, and I'll get to level 27. So I'll kill I'll kill the first two mons with Sand Slash. Everyone agree? So I have two grass types on my team. I think Gloom is gonna come to beat one of the one of them. As I think Gloom is gonna be one of the grass types, right? Huntail I can bring as an option here. I can also bring I can bring Huntail as an option. I can also use Chimeco for that. Either of these can deal with Chim uh Combustion, I have to check. Bulk up Fire Punch, Brick Break, Rock Slide. I think Chimeco is probably best here, because yeah, I won't get one shot by anything, so I'll use Chimeco for that. What is Bayleaf's moves? Bayleaf's moves are Grass Whistle, Giga Drain, Body Slam, and Synthesis. So, and I assume that Fear are two shots. And I also have Gloom as well, so Gloom shouldn't be dead at this point. So I'm gonna bring Double Grass type here in case something gets messy with the War Turtle, I think. I think I'm, I don't need Huntel for this, and I'm gonna bring Fear because it's a fast revenge like sweeper. Does that make sense to everybody? I need to get everything to level 27, of course, first, but I think that this is my team. All right, here we go. No, I liked when I could say no. Uh, there's a couple ways this can go badly. The biggest one is, number one, that if I forgot that mine, I got static. The, or the second biggest one is if Signal Beam confuses. Although I think it's still okay, because I'm not really planning on taking too much damage here anyway. Signal Beam comes out. Oh Lord, please don't confuse. Okay, I dig underground. This should be one Pokemon down, unless they hard read me and switch to Pidgeotto, which makes me super mad. Okay, Signal Beam, and this should be the end of mine. I'm pretty sure this thing is plus, or minus. <laughs> I think it has minus, actually. <laughs> All right, one down. Please, no static. Nidorina comes in. I'm faster. And according to my calculations, um, it is 
68.8% chance to Oko, and I'm one point faster. So I'm going to go for the dig. Actually, I'm just faster, but whatever. They're going to go for presumably Water Pulse. Yep, because I'm super effective. I have a 68.8% chance to Oko, and crit never kills me. I get the roll. Okay, nice. No damage on my Sand Slash. That could be valuable. Oh, Poison Point. Okay, that's fine. I didn't need this thing anymore. So War Turtle will either go for Fake Out or Water Pulse, depending on what it sees, but it probably won't go for Ice Punch. So I think I have a relatively free switch into my Gloom here, who is also getting dangerously overleveled. So they go for. Ideally, Fake Out. This Fake Out. Okay, cool. I'm now going to open up War Turtle on the Calc, because I knew that I could beat this thing. I just wasn't sure how much damage it would cost or how much damage I would do. It looks like Mega Drain is a clean two shot. It doesn't put them into. Mega Drain is a guaranteed two shot. Let me check. She doesn't have any items on this thing. No items. Um, it's probably almost certainly faster than me, but Mega Drain is always my best move because it doesn't activate Torrent. Ice Punch comes out. This isn't going to do that much damage. I'm mostly afraid of a freeze. Uh, 62 and 32, so it's 30 damage. This is way more than I expected, I'm not going to lie. So I'm technically dead to crit, which is kind of bad. Um, 62 down to 32. It did 29 damage. I'm actually dead to crit. I actually could play around that if I wanted by going into Kabuto to take the Ice Punch. Yeah, it's probably okay, I think. So I'm going to do that because this is a four times resist, even though the War Turtle is a lot stronger than I realized. I just need to hope it goes for Ice Punch here, not Body Slam. Okay, Ice Punch, this should do very little. Uh, if I get Frozen, I'd be in some pretty big trouble, I think. Crits me, that's really bad. No, it actually does 15 damage base. Oh god, okay. Uh, it's going for Water Pulse here because it's almost certainly going to uh, the kill or at least a lot of damage. Let's do this. Don't confuse. Okay, she got the kill now. I'm faster, get the kill, not bad. All right, War Turtle's down, they go into Pidgeotto now. Um, I better pull up how much Pidgeotto does, but I'm pretty sure it always Aerial Ace is here, and I'm pretty sure Steel Wing isn't that strong. Steel Wing does 20%, I'm not dead to crit, and Aerial Ace does like literally nothing. And then how fast is she? She's actually not that much faster than me, I think. So I can actually Rock Tomb into Rock Slide and kill it. Or I might just be able to 41, to get 34. Max damage Steel Wing is like 13, I think. Rock Slide is not a guaranteed kill, but I'm fast enough that Rock Tomb into Rock Tomb will always kill. Stealing comes out, it connects. Uh, this makes me kind of nervous, but it should do like 14 damage, 12 damage, not bad. Oh, Rock Slide would have killed. I think I caught something wrong. Or I must have high rolled, I think. There's one more trainer after me, do not forget. Okay, thank you, did not know that. Did not know that at all. Um, let's just double check the speeds, because I am effectively at. I'm effectively at 35, I'm effectively at 47 stat, uh, no, 52 stat, oh, I'm definitely faster, because May is at 46, yeah, so even if I did my mouth wrong, this is still fine, I rocked him for the kill. Now, what happens? Who probably sees a kill with Brick Break, realistically, so probably goes for Brick Break, but even Bulk Up isn't that bad. I'm actually not positive of Ding Ding KOs, but I'm very bulky, so I'm not too concerned about it. I could even Thunder Wave if I wanted first, um, because it doesn't have any, like, super scary things, Brick Break comes out, too, much it does. I wonder if Thunder Wave is better here. This is actually 20 or 13 damage, but I think it's fine just to click Side Beam here. Bulk Up comes out. Because it's raising its attack and defense, and I don't care about those stats, because its only threatening move is Quick Attack and Fire Punch, right? Okay, I don't one shot, and I do activate Blaze, which is concerning. But I'm. We're speed tying! <laughs> Get played. So Bayleaf has Giga Drain Attract, Body Slam, and Synthesis. So the first thing I want to do is Quick Thunder Wave. Because that's just going to help me for the rest of this game, right? And they can't really threaten too much here. They Jigga Drain me, okay. Okay, not bad. I can recover. Quite to full. This is just very nice, because I can. I should always be able to win this with Wish. I guess track, okay. Um... Don't want that. How much health does my Gloom have left is the other question. I really don't want to get experience with my Gloom, though. Not that much HP. Um, Fear is fine here, I think. I even got Cherry Barrier to protect against, you know, maybe Logna. Giga Drain does very little. Aerialis is probably a two-shot here, but yeah, with only 13 damage off of a Mega Drain, that's going to be stronger than Body Slam, so even if we figure that does quadruple damage, I still have enough HP to live, because I would need 50, would have to do 15 for it to... Para, 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 para. Body slam, okay, as long as it's, no, there's nothing that can happen that would cost me this. It only does 20 damage exactly. Okay, and that's May. Zero deaths May. Okay, very, very, very happy with that. Really happy with that, how that went. Okay, we made it to the next city. Let's go. Let's go. We made it to Mauville. That's awesome. That feels really good. Alright, let's go. So what's good? Okay, wait, before I before I encounter, what's good here? What's good? 
Tell me. Magnemite is good? Okay, Magnemite, Magnemite, Magnemite. How's Mareep? That doesn't feel too bad, honestly. I don't know how you I don't know how you will feel about it, but that feels not bad at all. Mareep is okay. Alright, it's fine. Alright, time to do my favorite game. Not weaken it because I'm scared, and then just throw infinite balls to like never mind. That was fun. Beep beep I'm a sheep. Static, static, static. Static. Somebody said it in the chat! Somebody said modest static! I saw it! Who? Please! Please, bless me. Wait, that's actually insane. I don't, like, Static Modest is perfect, of course, and you couldn't ask for anything better, but I mostly freaked out that somebody called it. That's actually insane. Bad for Watson, though? Mm, can I have some positivity in chat? Any positivity, dears? Okay, let's go buy some more candies. We got Static, which increases the chance of Chin Chow, right? That's what we really care about? <laughs> I'm rich. Volt absorb. Chin Chow. Chow. Volt absorb. Chin Chow. Volt absorb. Chin Chow. Volt absorb. Chin Chow. Chin Chow. Chin Chow. Chin chow, okay. Shiny, shiny, shiny. No, oh, please be Volt Absorb. Please, 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 please. Everyone raise your hands. Please, right now. Hands up, hands up, hands up, hands up. Hands up, hands up. We got half the battle. Please, 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 please. Chin chow. Volt Absorb. Volt Absorb. Volt Absorb. Volt Absorb. So I kill it, right? Let's just kill it now. Bye bye. 118? Which one's 118? To the left or to the right? Oh, I'm starting to get really nervous. I'm starting to get really nervous. What if I don't get it? Please, second time. Oh god, what if I don't get it? All right, chat, hands up now. The issues we didn't raise, we didn't send me your energy before we encountered because it was already, it was already set. That was the issue. Please. Okay. This time I'm thunder shocking if it's, if it's. Okay, Chincha, okay, okay, okay. Please, oh god, please. Oh no! Oh no, I have one shot left, right? And that's it? Okay, where's the water? Give me the water. All right, chat, old rod you said, right? We're gonna use the old rod for this. Hands up, we gotta hold the hands up for longer. Keep it up, keep them up, keep them up, keep them up. Keep them up, keep it up. Please, oh God, don't, don't let it end like this. Not like this. Okay, here we go. I have to press the button. I'll have to have a really quick reaction time. Okay. All right. We have two ways to fail this. Seventy percent is Chin Chow. I'm not gonna lie. That feels really bad. Good rod. All right. Ready. Great. Thank you, game. So what's the last thing? Can I go, can I, so I have one encounter left, right? And I feel, I just wasted two encounters. That feels super bad. So I thought a lot about this last night. I spent about two hours last night thinking about this and I have decided that it is possible for me to win this. I need to beat the gym trainers and I need to go to, I need to go to, um, Verdant Turf. Ah, this is so stressful. How close to Watson are we? We have to get through these trainers. Then we have a couple encounters. Then we have the gym trainers. So we're pretty close. Okay, Ariel is, I don't think this one shot Gloom is really bulky. Yeah, but they're probably gonna sleep powder here. Oh, they actually sludge bomb. Uh, unless they crit poison. Okay, it's fine, we're gonna die to this, not bad. Take down, okay. This thing actually might go for ice punch is the thing. Oh wait, right, it doesn't matter if it goes for ice punch. Beep, beep, coming through. Belly drum, okay, here we go. <laughs> oh God, I'm definitely faster than it. But the question is just, oh, Citrus Berry is different in this game. Okay, I need to pray this one shot. Please, one shot. It's a super effective, modest, flaffy. Uh oh. No, I should still- I should still love this. I should still love this. I should still love this. I definitely love this. It's only plus times four. Okay, that was almost very bad. Beep beep. Coming through. Without a crit, I would have died though, so that was definitely concerning. Last mon is Chansey. Chansey looks so evil. I'm really scared for some reason. That just looks like super evil. Should we double edge here? Bop. Let's go center how much it's doing, because Brick Brick will do a little bit more than this. Okay, we're fine. Um, I am going to click Rock Slide and pray that I'm faster. Uh oh. Okay, crit does Oh. Um. All right, we're not gonna mess around with that. I'm just gonna say it. We are gonna go right into me monkey. 
I could lose to this in theory because I don't really have. Unless a water pulse confuses me again. Oh, God. No, it's not going to confuse. It's not going to confuse. Okay, and now. <laughs> say goodbye! It lived? It doesn't counter. That crit won't kill. Okay, well, the good news is it's very weak. The bad news is it's very scary. Oh no, my private is almost capped. That's really bad. Although I don't bring private versus Watson. Huh? 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 Did they nerf Chansey? Verdant Turf. Okay, cool. I'm into Verdant Turf. I assume there's nothing here for me, except for some grass somewhere there. Alright, there's one patch of grass, it looks like. <laughs> Love just Golden Nuzleaf and Steel. You can also just look at exclamation point deaths to figure out which one side. Okay, Swine Up is interesting, actually. Uh, that's actually kind of... Oh, no, nah, it's bad. Unfortunately, it's really bad. Powder Snow to six. I caught it. It's bad because I have a plan with my Sand Slash to beat the Ampharos. That's part of my plan. And unfortunately, the way this plan works, unless it's thick, okay, actually, wait, I take it back. If it's thick fat, it's fine. If it's thick fat, it's fine. But it doesn't evolve until like the 30s, right? Let's see what we're working with here, though. It is impish nature, oblivious, and it sucks. Okay, cool. So I got swine up. So now I have to think about what is my last encounter before this. And the answer is it's route 117, right? I need to pray I get 20% goldeen, right? Because if I if I go in the grass, I'm most likely, yeah. I, the issue is I don't have a water type to pivot into. I really need a bulky water type, but all of mine have died. Barbers are good for Watson. I have a plan, but I need a bulky water type. Is my water pivot gonna have to be stupid Kingler? No, it has base zero special defense. I don't have a single bulky water type. It evolves at level 28. Okay, so I could use it. Its base special defense is like 50. What's Krabby's base special defense? Can you get Tentacle and Route 9 instead of Squirtle? No, because I got Krabby. This is fine. This gives me a 20% chance to get Meryl. Okay, I got more wish. Okay, that's fine. I guess I can check the stats, but I think that my plan from last night is what I have to do. Barbush can beat Raichu. Uh, Barbush could beat Raichu, but so can something else. 10 damage. Because it gets Mudshot, right? Okay, is that. I didn't mean to leave with this. Well, I can actually lose to Burn, right? Oh no, I leveled up my Primeape, and I took out my experience share. Oh no. Let's try the first trainer. Oh! I didn't even see her! Dog! She's sneaky. XP dump? Oopsie. Hey, monkey. I calced something wrong. I calced something wrong. What did I calc wrong? Why did I think Primeape would one-shot this? It doesn't matter, but... God, that's scary. What did I calc wrong? Uh oh. Citrus? This thing is such high base HP. Leftovers. Okay, it's fine. That's fine. It's fine. I gave it ch cherry, cherry berry just in case. It's a bit of experience. They go into Pikachu now. Which gives me a switch into my Gloom. Seismic Toss does 27. Maybe I use Grovald. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Thunderbolt, okay, this is pretty strong, but I should survive. If I lose Gloom here, it's, I'm, the run is literally dead. Okay, I'm not dead to crit, though. Uh, I'm, or, no, I'm dead to crit, but I wasn't dead to crit there. Okay, it's a huge poison, the Pikachu, I don't know what it has. It's nice, okay. Um, oh, you have an Berry. Wait, this supposed to have Cherry Berry. Man, I'm messing up. Okay, if I kill with Grovile, what happens? If I kill a Pikachu with Grovile, because I was going to switch out anyway next, right? If I kill with Grovile, they would go into still Flaffy. Okay, that was still part of the plan. Flaffy, the plan was... Min Monkey, anyway. So I can actually just switch to Grovile here. So toss, okay. Did a lot of damage. Okay, uh, Pikachu, let's find out how fast you are. 67 stat, there's no way to fast enough. Good attack. Okay, the crit. Hopefully no static happens. Okay, now Flaffy, I believe, is gonna go for either Thunder Wave or Fire Punch. Neither of which are super scary, so I guess it's just save me. Seismic Toss is the scariest truth for the better relative to high HP base. As long as this doesn't burn, I guess it could burn. I hadn't really considered that. It's just a lot of damage. 
Okay, it doesn't burn. I have Magnitude, I believe. It's faster than me. It's in front of the Fire Punch. It does 21 damage, so... Crits me, okay, so I'm now dead to crit. Does it burn? It does not burn. Magnitude 9 is great, but I'm now in trouble. Um... Okay, I get the one shot. That's very important. Not bad. Maybe Togetic. I heal a little bit. Thunder Wave, Soft Blow, Size of Tense Okay. Definitely running out of resources. Maybe a little concerned, but. Water Pulse. This shouldn't do too much. Togetic isn't that strong. Okay, um, I'm actually gonna check who's faster here, because that's kind of relevant. Um, I am 35. I'm pretty sure Togetic's gonna be faster than that. 28. No, it's actually, I'm faster. So I can actually go for Double Shockwave and Prey Chaos. Faster. I really need to KO here. I have cherry or Chris Cherry Berries. I should definitely two shot here. Okay, it's a nice two shot. It should be Thunder Wave, I think. Yep, and then I'm still immune to that, which is nice. Because I have Cherry Berry. You're not immune, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, wait. Is it Citrus? Leftovers, okay. Citrus would have been bad. I got the kill here. Okay, Togetic goes down. So Shuppet's moves are Thunder Wave, Shadow Ball, Nightshade, and Double Edge. I think I can just, wait, let me, what's the item on this thing? The item is Citrus Berry. I mean, it's, oops, well, I didn't really mean to do that, but it's okay. I don't die to this. There's no way to this. Okay, I was dead to crit, Never mind. Okay, I gotta be more careful. Also, Double Edge does a lot of damage that I wasn't really prepared for. Okay, a lot of damage there. These trainers are a lot- like, I, I've had a couple times where I would have died if they crit me, so I think I need to be, like, way more careful, truthfully, with these ba uh, battles, because, yeah, I've taken, like, a lot of risks this fight, for example. I don't need Flaffy, of course, but, like, I'm a genius. Um, yeah, like, it's still- there's, like, been too many close calls. I need to be more careful going forward. Sea Wave? Don't I have a berry for that? In the end, I need all my Pokemon, so it's fine. I didn't have any XP dump. How many water types do I have? One, two, three water types versus the Electric Gym. Okay, this thing might just go boom, or it will go for Sonic Boom. So boom either way. Magnitude 10, 10, 10. I've got really good magnitude so far. Only taking 20 damage there is nice. Could come in handy. Actually, I don't really think I can use Vault uh, Rhyhorn for anything else this fight, truthfully. Alicate comes out. I actually could risk the Ice Punch here, but I think I'd rather just hit it. Because if I'm going to risk something going wrong, I'd rather risk it on a mod that I don't go size and toss. That's fine, too. Um, I would have preferred Ice Punch, I think. Although it actually might do even... No, that's a ton of damage. Okay, things have gone badly, actually, um, for me. This should be Thunderbolt always. Okay, this Lodger is starting to look really scary. I actually kind of can't believe I didn't bring Primage to this fight. Oopsie. Let's go for a Mudshot. Faster. Okay, I really need this not to freeze. If this freezes... Okay, it doesn't freeze. Um, my Barbage is Jolly, so I should definitely have speed after one of these. This thing doesn't have static, right? I think it does, actually. Okay. Uh, I should definitely be faster. I... Oh, wait, what? Get outplayed. I guess I could have rock slided, but I didn't really think that that was happening. This is Jigger Drain every time. So doomed. Oh, it's so doomed. I'm gonna lose to confusion. I can feel it. I can feel it. It's over. This is the run. Okay, please one shot. I am not I know I ask for a lot. It's a lot of damage. I've also brought exclusively Pokemon that lose to Golbat with no answers. Wait, why did I not bring Flaffy? I forgot I had Flaffy. Uh, I think I'm risking the whole run here. Sludge Bomb should do it should be not a sweet game from this range. If I hurt myself here, the run is dead. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, I got super lucky. That was super, super, super lucky. Although it was kind of unlucky given the circumstances that led us here, but that was really bad. Okay, let's take a look at here. We, we're still in trouble versus this Elekid, though. Um, They're going to go for Hyper Voice almost every time here, so I can actually just switch to IE Team and pray that I don't get dropped. Okay, this has a chance to drop defense. Doesn't crit me. Doesn't drop my defense. Okay, cool. Let's take a quick look here at what we're dealing with. Um... I'm 37 stat, they are 38 stat. Rock Slide is 47%, Rock Tomb is 35%. Um, water Pulse into Water Pulse is not a kill here, so I actually think my best play is Rock Tomb, Rock Slide, Rock Slide. Water Pulse, okay, that's the strongest move, it should do 44%. 
Oh, it did. Wait, 44 down to 18. That's that's 26, right? It's 26. Okay. Actually, this is doing more than I thought for some reason. Was that I just back? Uh, wait. Something's wrong with my calc because I should never have been able to do that much damage. Something is wrong with this calc. They should not be taking that much damage soon. But it does mean that there's a decent chance that Rockslide kills, and they need right now. They can't kill me without a crit. And I have so I have a chance of flinch. I have a chance of crit, and I have a chance of just high roll. Okay. Water pulse again. Now without a crit, this will not kill me. Okay, no crits. I'm still faster. I can I can mega drain here. Good kill. Get one HP. Doesn't matter. It's very lucky. So the issue is that this could be any move. This could be seismic toss. This can be thunderbolt. This could be ice punch. I gotta think about this one. That switch was really bad for me. I can't I can't believe they switched. Badge boost? That's not in this game. That's not in this game, right? Badge boost is in this game? Okay. Alright, we're gonna talk about that's a question for later, chat. Um, right now the question is, do I have a safe switch into anything? I actually think the best play here is to accept that Kingler might have to die. Because otherwise I would just like I would be in the same position as I am right now, right? So I think I go Kingler here and pray that they don't Thunderbolt. Please go for fire or thunder, thunder. Okay, fire punch. Okay, cool. Hey, okay, can't crit me. Please don't burn. Okay, I'm back to healthy. I can't use Gloom because number one, if I if I take it, I I need Gloom is the only Pokemon on my team capable of beating Ludicolo, and even that's kind of a stretch because I brought only Pokemon that were weak to Ludicolo, unfortunately. Thunderbolt, okay. Oh, I don't have anything fast either. I brought really bad mods for this. They go for Seismic Toss that can never crit. Excellent. Barboach survives. Bye bye. One mod left. I got very lucky this fight, like extremely lucky. Really cold, isn't a fire punch? Oh, I hope not. Water Pulse, Thunder Punch, Razor Leaf, Teeter Dance. Razor Leaf, there's one. The thing is that this does have Teeter Dance, and when there's a Teeter Dance, I can always lose. And the bad news is that they went for Teeter Dance. I have a really bad feeling about this, but I never have a way around this, unfortunately. Like, because I always have to attack while confused because I'm faster or slower. Okay, that's a huge hit. I'm getting, that's three for three confusions, which is extraordinarily lucky. We don't get the one shot. We don't get the poison. Um, I could... No, I don't have anything to switch to. I could switch to Kingler, because they probably never attack. Um, yeah, I could switch to Kingler, actually. Or I could just get four to four confusions. Okay, I got fair... Okay, my, this is canceling my lantern luck. If I get through this gym without losing a Pokemon, and with this level of kind of pretty mediocre play, I think that I'll call it even for the lantern. We got super lucky. We almost... We should. We probably could have wiped to the Chimeco, or to the Golbat. Is the thing, because I didn't bring Flaffy for whatever reason. Why did I not bring Flaffy? What was I thinking? Okay. I have to do a lot better because that is not gonna fly. Okay, to be clear, like I have a plan, but I wouldn't I wouldn't go so far as to say the plan is good. It's just the only thing I could come up with given my resources. Uh I don't think that we're gonna be able to do this, but I will do my best. Um, there's so many things that can go wrong. And I also like if I made any mistakes in my thought process, like we're kind of done for. Cherry, cherry, orange, soft, cherry, cherry. I think this is the best I can do. I honestly think that this is the best I can do, but I don't think it's, I don't know, if Jolteon flinches me, like if, if I get Parod versus the Ampharos especially, there's so many ways that this can this can go poorly. All right, here we go. What is most likely the end of a glorious run? No Voltums or Lantern, no experience with Watson. I have six Pokemon and a dream. I think in a best case scenario, two die. I think in a likely case scenario, I wipe out and all, all of them die. Um, I don't think there's anything left to say. I think that this is pretty much all I can do. My water resist or my water type bait is Kingler, which is bad. Anyway, let's do this. Jolteon, okay. This is unexpected. Best case scenario, Thunder Wave. Best case scenario, Nargrass. Worst case scenario, Bite. Thunder Wave, perfect. That's a big deal. That's a real big deal. I eat the berry. I say, oh, this berry's delicious. Okay, best case scenario, we max roll, crit sludge bomb. Um, max roll sludge bomb is good too. They eat, they eat the berry, but there's a chance that I get the two KO now with sludge bomb, which is always, I was always planning for a three KO. They go for thunderbolt. That's really good because they can't flinch as long as it's in para. Please no para. Just 25%, actually just a little bit more. That's fine though. No para, okay, if we get the, um, we don't get the poison, that's okay. We are prepared for this. 
Two people again. This is all okay. Um, as long as we don't get para here, we're actually in a, pretty, in a better spot than I was planning on. We don't get crit, that's good. No para. No para, excellent. We get one more HP back and we level up blue. That's really nice. Okay. Now they go into Lantern. Lantern comes in. Now, Lantern's going to see the kill most likely with Ice Beam. So Lantern wants to go for Ice Beam here. Which gives us a switch into Ding 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 Ding. Which is good. Goes for Ice Beam. Perfect. That's really nice. Oh actually, no. Um, that's, uh, that's game ending. If I don't thaw, I literally will lose. I needed to not get frozen on the switch in there. I got you, homie. Whoo, <gasps> Chemico, I love you, I love you, I love you. Wow. That was really scary. Okay, this also is way stronger than I realized, so let's go back to full. Terra? Not oh, cool, bro. I should have wished there, I think, actually. I think that was a mistake to go for the... Um, to go for the recovery there. We have to wish this turn. This would be a really nice turn to get the full para. We actually haven't full para anybody. I'll, I'll, I'll run. Okay, that's very nice. Because we don't care. Right now, they're going to Thunder Wave every day of the week. And this gives us a switch into Gloom. As long as they don't, for some reason, Ice Beam. They should always Thunder Wave here. <laughs> they don't do anything. <laughs> um, okay. I believe here they actually always Ice Beam. Um, I'm going to go for the damage now. This actually gives me a nice pivot. Especially if they Thunder Wave here, which is what I expect. Then that's actually quite nice. I do have half health. It's a high roll. Para. Two wave. Okay, excellent. I believe this turn they want to go for Ice Beam. That's my inclination, at least. So, I'm gonna. Uh, I think they ice beam here, so I want to switch to Madge. I can actually save Chimeko's health, which is a big deal, and save Chimeko being paralyzed, which is an even bigger deal. This should be ice beam. <laughs> it's nothing. <laughs> this should either be Thunder Wave or Thunderbolt. This is the thing, because they they should never go for Surf or Ice Beam here. So what I can do is this is actually doing two things. It's redistributing my experience, but it also gives me a free switch to save me. And I have enough chip thanks to the Magical Leaf. See, not not Surf. T-Bolt, exactly, Lightning Rod, or Ground Typhoon. So I'm gonna go for Drill Run, I'm faster because of the T-Wave, because in Gen 4, uh, or Gen 3, T-Wave quarters rather than thirds, this needs to kill. Kill, okay, two down. Rhyron levels up, Chinaco levels up. Okay, and this thing wants to go for Hidden Power Grass every day of the week. Now, the difference between this situation and the situation I planned for is that, in this situation, my Chinaco wasn't paralyzed, which I was prepared for. So they're gonna go for Hidden Power Grass every day of the week. I should do like 20%. Okay, and I live, but then I get to go for Thunder Wave and I'm faster, so I guaranteed Thunder Wave off. That's really nice. Um, oh, that's real nice. Oh, that's real nice. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Um, side Beam? That's... Oh, wait, that's really, really big. That's really, really big. That's really big. Confuse? Confuse? Okay, okay. It always Thunder Waves here. So actually, wait, this changes the plan. Wait a second, this actually changes the plan. I had a plan that was going to be more complicated than this, but with that really good luck, drawing min damage to this thing is 68%. Okay, we can't do it, but that's okay. We can actually go into Sand Slash here, because Sand Slash does two things, but they always Thunder Wave or Thunderbolt. They never hidden Power Grass, and they might not even get to attack, because they only have, they have less than a 50% chance of attacking with Confusion. Okay, nice. Um, okay. Gets leftovers, that's fine, because now it's in range of double dig. And in order for this to go badly, they would need double static para on me, which is unlikely. So I'm gonna go for dig here. They're gonna go for probably hidden power grass. Still confused is great. They go for nothing. Okay, this doesn't really make that much of a difference, but it doesn't hurt at the very least. Um like the chip damage, I I needed one side beam off to get it into range of um two digs. I almost kill with one dig. Do I get static? I do. Oh no, that's real bad. Actually, I could probably play around that. I can, I can play around it, right? But I really wanted to KO with this thing, right? Snap out of confusion. Give me the para. Give me the para. Give me the para. And power this doesn't one shot unless they crit, in which case I'd be in real bad shape. Okay, let's go sand slash. Um, I have two options here. I can go for the attack here with um dig, but if I get static again, I would lose. Or I can switch back to Chimeko. They always go for either... I don't need Chimeko after this, so let me let me do that. Oh wait, but that messes up who comes in next. I really should have checked first. Um, Ampharos, if I go Chimeko, they go Manectric. Okay. Uh, that's okay because... Yeah, that's fine, actually. Okay, that's fine. I really think that this should kill. It won't see the kill, most likely, but I still think Sidebeam is my best play, especially considering I was planning to sack Chimeko, so if this kills based on Hyrule... 
Okay, kill Amphora, so three left. Um, the issue is that I can't manip what happens next. Right, that's the problem. But what I can do is sack Kingler, which wasn't originally part of the plan, but if for some reason they go for Crunch or Flamethrower... Yeah, I have to go into either sack Kingler or Chimeco, and I think Kingler is less valuable in the long run. So I'm gonna go Kingler here. Crunch, okay. Unless for some reason this doesn't two-shot, but it really should, because Kingler sucks. Oh, hang on a second. It did... Hang on, we gotta count that. It did 41 damage. I have 44 HP, right? 41 to 44. Let's go ahead and calc that. Um, because if there's a... I think there's a chance to guarantee... There's not crunch here. I think there's a chance to guarantee Thunderbolts, depending on what the range is. It's not gonna crunch. And it basically, in order for it to crunch, it has to hit the... It would have to roll the 1 in 16 crunch roll. Every other time at Thunderbolts. I'm... And even then it's 50-50. So I have a 1 in 32 chance of losing here. Thunderbolt, 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 Thunderbolt. I blew it. I super blew it. That was so greedy. And now Crunch always kills. Um, can I still win this? No. That was- I threw. I should've just sacked Kingler. It rolled the 1 in 16 Crunch roll. Okay. Um, Rhyhorn's no longer valuable to me, right? So what- what do I have to do to win this? I- I literally threw. That's really upsetting. Um, it's Lumberry. It kills all my Pokemon. I threw. And I had a 1 in 32 chance to do that. Um, is there anything I can do here? How fast is it? 74 stat? How fast are you? 46 stat? No, I had, so I had this all planned out and Pangolin's too slow. Um, oh no, I had the fight and I blew it. That's really upsetting. Maybe a flamethrower is. Yeah, I had to set right one there. Um, I think my only win condition right now is that they mess up somehow. Ah, uh, that's so bad. I, I should just sack Kingler. I was B, I thought I could 6-0. That's my bad. Okay, wait, it's still potentially winnable, because this is probably gonna bring me down to... I need this to bring me down to overgrow range and not kill me. It probably doesn't kill. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, okay. I lost. I lost because I saved Kingler. That's gotta be the dumbest thing I've done in a long time. Yeah, I can't win anymore. That was all my tools. Oh, I played really well tonight. I got pretty I got super lucky, but I got unlucky when it counted. This thing is so strong, I had no idea. Hey, at least I saved Kingler. Oh man, I should have done this first. Yeah, this was so carefully positioned, and where I messed up was that I got the order wrong, right? I got the order wrong where like I had to go Chimeco because the Sandshrew got paralyzed. And I needed Sandshrew to not be paralyzed because I needed Raichu to be able to quick attack um Grove I was gonna kill the Raichu. Oh, I can't win anymore. That's unfortunate. Um, yeah, I was. It was just greedy. It was greedy. I could have saved Kingler. I was trying to six zero because if I had saved Kingler there, it was a six zero. I think, but yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, crunch kills. Oh man, that was that was really greedy. I, I should have slowed down. That was my biggest thing there. Anyway, I'm sorry, chat. <sighs> it was poor play. It was really poor play. I'm just curious, like, if it, it'll crunch again. Because, I mean, I guess it's possible I calc wrong, but I don't... Unless, did I calc wrong? Like, I have 36 special defense, right? No, I calc correctly. Oh, no, I did calc wrong. It's That was a really lazy play, because I put the special defense in and didn't check the HP IV. So it was a 50-50. You missed the special, special defense. There was a speed drop? Oh, but it doesn't matter, I can never win. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter because my Pokemon are too slow. Right? Unless King was faster than 50. Oh, I could've killed it. Uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. I, I could've gotten one more Mon, but I, I could never win this, right? Goodbye, Sandslash. Spidef drop and Kingler. Oh! Crunch- wait, Crunch lowers special defense? Wait, Crunch lowers special defense in this game? Doesn't it normally lower defense? Oh, I know. Oh, I didn't read. I thought it always did defense. Okay, yeah. Okay, so two bad plays. I was- it was actually a 50-50 regardless, but it was a bet. it was even more of a 50-50. Uh, well, that's the run. It feels pretty bad to lose that way because I had a, I had a guaranteed win, and I messed it up because I was greedy. For a Kingler, I didn't even like Kingler. I was going to bring Corsola. So, yeah, it's okay. I mean, I think that the fact that this was like, I was 150% chance away from winning this, I think, and then it was, it was guaranteed. For anyone curious, the way that this is supposed to work is like, 
Kingler into Rhyhorn, get the get the free switch, drill run, kill Manectric, and then that was like the way that I was beating Raichu is Raichu comes in, attacks with Surf on my ground type. Gloom comes in, Sludge Bomb, Sludge Bomb, puts it in quick attack range, then you quick attack, then they go uh, Electric or Electabuzz, and then you Rock Tomb, they kill Grovile, and then you go into Sand Slash, which is one point faster, and kills with Dig. So uh, I think I played really well and just was like super stupid at the end. I should have been slower. Um, but that's okay. It feels bad, but I think that this proves to me that I can do it. And with no, like, we should have won that. That was just, it was just greedy. Saving Lantern, like, it could have been a two death run with only, only Kingler, probably. Yeah, it, it should have been only Kingler and Grovile dying. So that's my bad. But it's okay. I think, I think this proves to me that I can do this, especially like, I mean, I have some really good, I had some good luck. I had some bad luck, right? Um, and again, I think this is a lesson to me where like, the reason why I was in a position where Kingler was even in that position was that I failed Gyarados at the beginning, right? And I had to use Kingler. I'd use Kingler as my switch around. All right, thank you for watching. Have a good one. See y'all next time. Bye-bye.